How to generate free images using Google Gemini in Annotate. Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these kind of images into your Annotate for free. So earlier we used to pay uh, like chat to ChatGPT Pro, Image Journey or Tally, but now with the Gemini's powerful API and Annotate automation, you can do it all for free. No subscription needed and you can just integrate these images into your workflow. So right now I have created this simple workflow to just for tutorial. Now let me show you a preview. When I execute this, so it asks me a topic, let's say a cat, and then click on the submit. It will create the prompt. For that, let me just, uh, okay. I have to drag this output into prompt section. So let me execute it again. Now you will see the image of this prompt. So just let's see. Now, as you can see, this is not cat, but you can refine your prompt in your AI agent and you can generate the image. So let's get started and how you uh, let's show let show you how you can set up all of this uh, from scratch. So first thing first, let me just say uh, remove all of this. Now, first, what you have to do is search for AI, uh, Google's AI Studio. From there, we will copy the API key. Before that, we will set up our uh, automation. First, we will add the submit node. Submit node. And I will choose as a trigger. So from here, what you have to enter is a like title and the description. I will add a title, give me a topic. And then from here, uh, you will give a description. And then from here, you have to add element. Just click on this add element and add a field name over here. and let me execute this so it will open this form where you have to enter the prompt and click on the submit it will uh, take that submit now let's move to second step where we will add this ai agent and in that ai agent what you have to do is you have to just simply change the source for prompt to define below now over here, you have to uh, give a prompt. So I will generate a prompt. So write a prompt for AI agent in Anakin system prompt for image generation. Now hit the enter button and wait for a few seconds to generate the prompt. Now what you have to do next is just copy this prompt and go back to your Anaton workflow and paste this prompt to this user message. Now, let me just fix one more thing. So over you have to add a topic. Or you can say, uh, image generation topic so when you execute this note again you have to execute it uh, let me just execute okay there is an error we have to add chat model over here so click on the chat model and then search for google gemini and click on this google gemini chat model now over here, I have already set up the credential. Now let me click on this create new credential and we need API key over here. So go back to your chat, uh, google.ai studio. From the right side, you will find the get API key. Click on it. And from there, you have to go to create an API key. Click on it. Now you will have to add a, a search Google Cloud project. Let me just change the account now okay i'm fine now over here i have created a lot of cloud project so if you want to create just go into google console.cloud over there you have to create a new project and after creating the new project 
over here you will find a lot of different different project as you can see here just simply select one of them and click on this create api key so it will generate the api key for us what you have to do next is just copy this api key get back to your anatent and paste this api key into this section now after that you have to click on the save button as you can see the connection has successfully tested now from here you can choose the model of gemini for example we have these different different type of mo models like the flash then you have pro x pro then you have flash thinking so all good to go now we have added our system prompt and then we have connected our chat model let's execute our workflow now add cat over here let's get back as you can see it is generating i'm ready to please provide me an image topic or concept so okay we need image topic so as you can see we have this topic so i'll just sim go to schema and the just drag the form node or you can say add here into our system prompt let me just make this bigger so just okay we have to put over here and then we will execute it again so we have given the topic to, to generate a prompt wait for a few seconds to generate the prompt now, as you can see the this model has generated this beautiful prompt of majestic full fluffy ginger tabby cat so this is good now just close this node now we will add this gemini image generation model just click on this press icon and search for Gemini. Now click on this uh, Google Gemini. Now from here you will see a lot of actions. So what you need to do is just simply click on this create an image. Or you can say generate an image. Now over here I have already created credential. So the we have already created uh the what you call this api key so you don't need to create it again for uh, image generation node you can just connect simply over here now from there you will find the image and the operation you have to set to generate an image then you have to choose a model now go to generate if you are using free account then you have to gen uh, click on this generate preview now i will what i am going to do in the prompt section just go to input section of AI agent and drag this into this prompt. So as you can see, we have dynamically set this prompt. Now execute this step. Okay, you have to select a different model. It is paid model. Uh, let's go with this model Gemini 2.5 flash or you can say this preview one. Let's execute it again. Wait for a few seconds and it will give you the beautiful image. Now in the output section, you will find this data. Just click on the view. And as you can see, we have successfully generated an image in our annotant. So you can generate a lot of images using this step. And you can integrate this into your bigger workflow. Like let's say if you are creating a social media automation, you can just integrate this free image generation into your workflow for the testing purposes so yeah that's it for today's video you can if you found this video helpful then subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching